Hi, uh, Sonia, what's up? Batu is here from Central. Thanks for having me and support and cheers to Extremel magazine crew from here. Uh, I am Batu, I am the vocalist of Senata, uh, Molesi Trinity, Grotesque Ceremony and Drain of Impurity from Ankara, Turkey. Uh, during the uh, global pandemic world, it still continues, fucking COVID-19 virus fucked up all world and ruined all our plans this year. Uh, we cancelled Olesit Divinity Euro Tour and Cenotaph uh, US tours both cancelled and postponed to next year's and uh, at those times uh, I stayed at home most of the time sometimes uh, meeting with friends and hanging but not often like before uh, like everyone I was at home listening music uh, writing some new stuff uh, and also we released uh, May uh, the new Molested Trinity album and uh, since uh, May I am trying to promote it through social media links and uh, packing orders, sending it worldwide, answering interviews, stuff like this I am doing. Uh, with Cenotaph, Molesi Trinity, uh, with Cenotaph we finished uh, the writing uh, process of a uh, new album which will come next year, early 2021, but uh, I don't know which label yet, because I didn't decide it yet, we will see, 8 new songs we wrote. Since one year we are working on them, since uh, last 2019 tour, Europe tour with Orgasm, Abnormality Unbirth, we made it uh, last year. So, uh, time is going like this with Santa, with Moist Trinity. Uh, as I said, we release new album and uh, we are promoting it right now. Uh, most of the time, I am at the post office, sending orders, packing orders and stuff like this. I'm dealing with those kind of stuff. Uh, I was born in Eskişehir, Turkey, 1977. I am an old guy. Uh, it was a normal childhood, nice one, with full of action, playing outside with friends. There were uh, no internet or cell phones at those times. My generation knows it better. Uh, we were every day outside playing uh, football, soccer, basketball, skateboarding and doing this kind of stuff. So it was... Uh, action childhood. I start to listen metal when I was uh, 12 years old. Uh, we were at shopping with my mom and I uh, saw at any store uh, strange tapes with uh, cool artworks on it. Iron Maiden, The Number of the Beast, the first tape I bought in my life as metal. Uh, then I uh, listened to uh, Light Lighting from Metallica, it was also killer. Then uh, one of my friends gave me uh, the Slayer, South of Heaven tape. Then uh, uh, I thought what a fucking brutal and aggressive music this is and I think it changed and influenced my life a lot. I listened to this uh, tape. Uh, one year non-stop, it was in my Walkman, Sony Walkman, I listened to that, so I think it's uh, one of the 
biggest influences in my metal life. Uh, after the Slayer I listened, uh, I get uh, Sepultura and uh, Dead Trash stuffs like uh, Crater, German, Dead Trash, Bands, Destruction, Sodom, you know. Uh, then uh, Dead, Chashubainer Dead. Then I discovered bands like uh, Carcass, Napan Dead, Cannibal Corpse, Suffocation, one of my friends gave Suffocation take to me. And I thought, uh, what is this brutality? Uh, the next day I uh, went to local record store bought Effigy of the Forgotten Sea album Tomb of the Mutilated from Cannibal Cross Budget at Bird Eaten to Back to Life such classic great albums so uh, like this then I thought so when I was at high school then I decided to form my own band then uh, I found the members and uh, we started rehearsing and set up started. Actually, how you became a musician? Uh, at those times at the rehearsal studios we were just uh, having fun trying all those instruments. I always wanted to play drums, but I don't have such uh, talent to play it. Then I tried uh, bass guitar, guitar too, but uh, I decided to become a vocalist. Uh, it was more easy at those times. Uh, before Cenotaph, nothing was serious any series plans we just uh, hang that studio and trying to play some kind of dead trash stuff with some of my friends and we were also at any local show with this band I even forgot the name of the band then later uh, my late 93 94 I formed the center uh, then we start to write a series, more serious death metal, or to death metal. Besides Cenotaph, uh, I am uh, doing vocals in Molested Trinity. Uh, it's also full-time serious band. It's not a side project band. My side project bands are uh, Drain of Impurity, Grotesque Ceremonium, and uh, some other uh, side projects I also have one of the cave which is funeral doom and uh, first in dot but it's a grindcore band one man it, it's gro uh, right now grotesque ceremony uh, her second album is coming from through German neckbreaker records this September if you like old school death metal like incantation Autopsy or Winter style, check this out. Uh, yeah, since uh, 2019 Euro Tour, I changed the center up lineup again. Uh, from uh, friends, uh, Matis from Dark Horse Slaves is playing guitars, and uh, from Swiss bands. Uh, Kako Tanesi, Anochronism, uh, Florent Duployer is playing drums and Eren uh, from Ankara uh, playing bass in Senta. Uh, I made I met with uh, drummer from the last Senta Orgasm Tour 2019. I met with Florent uh, at this tour and I asked him that he interested to play in Senta and he accepted. We went uh, last year Euro Tour with him 
keep this new lineup played like uh, 26 gigs through the Europe. All the great, great times. So uh, lineup since uh, 2019, it's the same in Santa. We wrote with those people, those uh, new guys, uh, new Santa Biden, which will come. This uh, we, we will record uh, in September. And uh, Molested Trinity lineup is same since uh, 2016, same lineup. We have, we are using sometimes session bass players in Molested Trinity. Eren is also playing in Santa, also both in uh, Molested Trinity. The story of Molested Trinity unearthing the void. Uh, after the uh, debut album uh, Desolated Realms, which released uh, through South Korean label Show No Mercy Records, uh, they did a great job for this album. And after good feedbacks, we started uh, to write new songs. Emre, the guitarist, is the songwriter in Molest Trinity. He came up with his new ideas and riffs and stuff and everyone added his own parts, drummer wrote his own drum patterns and I added my own vocal patterns. Uh, then later uh, it took about a one year writing process, then we again entered, go to the same studio uh, with Moesa Trinity, Ozan Yildirim is the owner of Betal Studio and also the studio engineer is like a member of Molested Trinity. Uh, we recorded with him, and the result uh, is uh, nice, I think. What we think. Uh, song writing uh, at Molested Trinity is like this uh, the guitarist Emma is writing his own. Uh, Riffs and compositions, and uh, he's then showing those uh, ideas and riffs to us. Uh, he's while he's rehearsing and jamming at home, finding those stuff and riffs. Then everyone is uh, then writing uh, his own part and band. When everything is ready, then we are booking the studio to record it and recording. Uh, Ozan Yildirim, the Detas from Detas Studio, as I said, he's uh, like a band member and he knows, he knows well what we need and what kind of sounds we are looking for and uh, he also knows uh, what kind of uh, gear we have to use to get this vocal sound, equipment and this kind of uh, technical stuffs. Uh, in this new one uh, what we wanted to do is to get more faster, more fast uh, blasted brutality and more uh, brutal than the previous one. Uh, I think the songwriting is now more nature, uh, better than the first one. Uh, we tried uh, different style guitar riffings and uh, ideas in, in songs. Uh, also, I think uh, most people uh, scared or thought that uh, we will change the style and ruined it, the new one, but uh, we kept it first album style and I think put on it some more and uh, Unearthing the Void album came through American label New Standard Elite. If you not check it yet, today go and listen it. Pretty brutal stuff. Yeah, uh, after 2017, Perverse Dehumanize Dysfunctions, uh, Senator Biden, uh, we made uh, every year 
Euro Tour. Those tours uh, like uh, one month long, 25 30 gigs per month. Uh, 2017, 2018, and last year 2019, we made three Euro Tours after this album. And after last year's tour, we start to write uh, new material, new songs for Cenotaph. So we have eight new songs for the Cenotaph. Uh, what should fans expect from New Center is, uh, as usual, brutal, technical, without mercy, Center brutality. More faster songs we wrote this time, so I am excited about it. Uh, we are gonna record it this September. We will see how the result will be. Hope you guys will like. Senatov uh, started uh, when I was uh, at high school. The 90s was a uh, very difficult time uh, to get music, to get uh, underground uh, demo tapes and CDs at those times. Uh, it was difficult to post switch tape trading stuffs. We get a lot of uh, tapes and flyers. We spent all our money for those things mostly postage and shipping, trading stuff and we discovered underground death metal, extreme music, grindcore, gold grind stuff uh, at 90s and uh, receiving weekly uh, a lot of tapes and CDs and uh, giving those tapes to each other, listening at home, giving to our friends uh, like this uh, underground scene and society uh, slowly developed, rise in Turkey. Lyrical teams in molested uh, divinity. Uh, Emre is uh, the guitarist is writing most of the lyrics, uh, 90 percent of them or more. Uh, they are unholy stuffs, uh, different parallels, uh, chaos, uh, portals, uh, stuffs like this. Uh, I write the lyrics in Santa and in my other bands. Uh, it's different than Molested Trinity and Santa. Santa lyrics are more into uh, science fiction or gore or such uh, perverts, perverts, uh, splatter stuffs, you know, gore kind of. It's uh, mostly cliche in uh, brutal death metal, but uh, we are doing it since 25 years, so I will not change the lyrical concept in Senata. Drain of Impurity is my uh, oldest project, the first project I started at uh, 2000. Uh, I started as a one-man band, then my brother joined, he played guitar and bass. I uh, made uh, drum programming and vocals. Later on he left, uh, I recorded the rest of the stuff, we made some split tapes split CDs with other underground bands and uh, we have uh, four full full length album check this out you can find them in YouTube or other uh, digital platforms so I wrote New Drain of Impurity this time I am planning to record uh, with a real drummer not drum machine this time we will try Record it so hope to release it next year. We are working on it. Uh, yeah, we uh, we work with uh, different uh, labels uh, with Senatav. The first label uh, was Hammer Music from Turkey 1996. We signed them 
uh, they release our first album World Use to Minst and Good Gentle Fluency at those times they made great job with distribution and stuff like this to promote it. Uh, later on we signed with uh, American labels, we worked with uh, United Cattle Records, uh, we worked with Unmatch uh, Brutality Records, uh, right now working with uh, Severed Records and from Russia Coyote Records. Uh, a lot of other labels made uh, re-releases, repress of the Cenotaph albums and still we are working with uh, different labels but for the new Cenotaph album I didn't decide yet which label we will go through so final show we will see it after we record so. Interesting stories, a lot of interesting stories and uh, funny or bad shitty moments we had. Uh, the one from the early days, uh, back to 90s, uh, I was waiting for one uh, demo tape from uh, Japan uh, and the tape came uh, in my post uh, box, but the the children on the same apartment living, they uh, took this package and destroyed this tape and rolled this pa uh, plastic part of the tape in stick and fucking playing around. I was mad and sick when I saw this uh, and a lot of uh, other uh, weird and cool stuff happening normally at the tours because every day we were playing and after uh, shows drinking and after party stuff going on a lot of uh, cool times memories we had maybe I write them later on in any book who knows Uh, Warm of the K is uh, my project, uh, funeral doom band, but it's not active. Uh, maybe next year I will do something new. If I just release one uh, album with this band. Protest ceremony is active band. Uh, I started as one man this band. It's old school death metal, like incantation, winter, autopsy, funeral style, uh, death doom, death metal, old school death metal. Uh, we are full bands. We recorded uh, our second album, which is coming through Neckbreaker Records. It's an underground label from Germany. Check this out. CD, LP versions. Merchandise coming from them this September. I am looking forward to this album Sanctum of Demoniac Deviance, which is uh, pretty cool. Old school death metal for fans of Autopsy and Incantation. I recommend this band. Check this out also in YouTube. You can watch one new song video. Uh, what other styles? Except extreme music, I like uh, or listen. Uh, I listen nearly every kind of music, uh, but uh, I like nowadays. I listen uh, medieval uh, music, very cool stuff, and. Early days, uh, when, I, when I was young, I, I was doing skateboarding and from those skateboarding times I listened to a lot of punk, hardcore bands and uh, most probably if I not play metal or death metal, I play maybe punk, punk rock bands, who knows, 
I like this kind of stuff too, to listen. How I start to sing to that metal is a weird story. One of my friends gave me one uh, tape back in the days. Uh, also the first time I heard death metal with, with this tape. One side was post pestilence from uh, Netherlands, other side uh, autopsy, mental funeral, album or ex of unspeakable, any of one of those albums. Uh, I listened to pestilence site. Uh, it doesn't affect me much because I was listening to such dead trash type bands Crater Destruction but when I listened to uh, Autopsy Side first time I heard such growing deep vocals when I uh, started to sync with it growing at the same time with Autopsy then I lost my voice like uh, two weeks uh, because I didn't knew how to do it from the right place in throat my throat fucked up then uh, I discovered bands like Cannibal Corpse, Nathan Dead and stuff uh, I tried to make uh, those vocals of course it's not the same to do it at home and rehearsals is different uh, what influenced me my influences, vocal influences are I mean Chris Plus, Cannibal Corpse early Cannibal Corpse, uh, Barney Greenway from uh, Napalm Dead and uh, Frank Millen from Suffocation, John Chris from uh, Gorefest, Broken Up, Joe Putacek, all those uh, people were influenced on my vocals, also I got influences from uh, uh, Septic Flesh, I don't know the name of the vocalist, sorry. Uh, he is also very brutal from those vocals I get my first influence as I could uh, I start playing uh, bass guitar and doing vocals bass vocals three years I made in center but it was uh, difficult to do bass vocal singing and uh, trying to play those technical songs at the same time you can't give your 100 person power to it it's always 50 person vocal 50 person playing it was difficult i wanted to uh, focus only on vocals since from the beginning and uh, then i quit uh, doing bass vocals only uh, vocals i am also trying uh, to learn every day better guitar playing skills uh, rehearsing for it like uh, uh, jamming one hour two hour a day when i find time uh, definitely genre since uh, 90s to 2020 changed a lot you know, uh, new trends uh, came and gone. Uh, death metal, early 90s death metal still uh, now kicking ass. I think all those bands, the originators, I'm still listening to those timeless classic albums. Uh, at uh, late 2000s, uh, death metal slowed down a little bit, I think because black metal trend started at those times and it again changed uh, since uh, 2010s or something like this uh, death metal again going well extreme music, interest to extreme music and death metal, mostly death metal generally going cool I think worldwide how I am seeing death metal after all those years I think it's going well the golden age of 
work to death and death metal, I can say. A lot of cool releases coming out every year. Killer bands. Uh, underground and mainstream death metal changed a lot uh, during those years, of course. Underground, especially underground, changed a lot. Uh, tape trading, flyer times to right now internet times we are living uh, it's more easy to promote your band reach new fans spread around your music is uh, easier but uh, if I compare bands uh, from past to today of course a lot of cool bands also nowadays kicks ass bands around but also most of them lack of uh, originality most of them are copying the old bands, uh, nothing new or interesting, but a few interesting and cool stuff also coming. Uh, it depends on taste. Also, hundreds of bands uh, with the same sound and same style music uh, is also around. It's a little bit boring to me. I always try to find the original and interesting ones uh, you guys can find our uh, merchandise or albums uh, through our label or from our uh, social media pages uh, Bandcamp, Cenotaph, Bandcamp, Molest Divinity, Bandcamp, Grotesque Ceremonium, A Drain of Impurity, check them out uh, you can buy directly from us and uh, from label to new standard edits uh, as I said most of the time I am at post office bringing orders sending them around so you can order direct from us thank you Soner for this interview and support thanks a lot uh, hope you like the answers hope you guys enjoyed it so hope this uh, pandemic finish one day and live shows start again see you guys soon at the shows at gigs at the tours thanks for supporting my bands take care stay brutal <laughs>